In this video, I'm going to hitch the camper up by myself. And all I'm going to do is watch. Hi, and welcome to the channel. I'm Paul, and this is Liz. These are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And you definitely need to build confidence if you're going to learn how to hitch up the rig by yourself. Yeah, we've met couples on the road where the wife doesn't drive the rig, and we feel it's important for both people to know how to do everything. And that includes hitching up. You never know when an emergency is going to happen and you don't want to be stranded. You may not know this, but I was a solo RVer for over a year before getting together with Paul. I was able to hitch up my fifth wheel rig by myself because I have the Anderson Ultimate Hitch. They make it so easy. A traditional fifth wheel hitch is a process because the pin has to be lined up like crosshairs. I know because I used to have one. It took forever to hitch up. So today I'm going to show how easy the Anderson Ultimate 3220 is. So easy, I'm just going to hitch it up by myself. The Anderson Ultimate replaces the traditional fifth wheel hitch with a ball and cup system. Replacing the kingpin with a cup allows a three inch all around margin of error when backing. This is because the shape of the cup will guide the ball in. And instead of a puck system, the Anderson hitch attaches to the gooseneck ball in your pickup truck bed. If you have a ball in your truck bed, it will be either a BW, Reese, or Kurt, or you can get one of these installed. The Chevy has a BW. My Ford, which is now just a fond memory, had a Reese. The Reese just drops into the receiver after you release the locking mechanism on top of the ball. Be sure it's locked into place before you continue. The BW uses a turnover ball system where the ball is stored upside down in the truck bed when not in use. The locking mechanism for the BW is a pin that goes through the ball and you will find the release handle for this pin in the driver's side rear wheelhouse. We are also using an accessory safety chain plate and chains that are purchased separately. See the links in the description. A lot of people are reluctant to get a fifth wheel because they don't want to give up the bed of their truck to the traditional hitch. Many weigh well over 100 pounds, so they're not so easy to put in and take out. The best thing about the Anderson Ultimate 3220 is that it is super lightweight and super easy to install and remove from your truck bed. It weighs just 35 pounds. Anderson makes it easy in that which direction it should face is clearly marked on the hitch. After dropping the hitch over the ball, you will insert the pin below the ball. Don't forget to install the hairpin clip. Now you're ready to tighten it up. The only special tools required to install the Anderson hitch are a half inch drive torque wrench and a 15 16 socket. Tighten the top bolt to 60 pound feet and the two bolts facing the truck cab to 40 pound feet. And you're done. It's that simple. Of course, if you are in a situation where you need to hitch up, then you also need to know how to break camp. You just never know when you will need to do all of this by yourself. Your partner could be under the weather or have a twisted ankle or even be admitted to the hospital. It's best to be prepared. I like to use a checklist and highly recommend using one so that every step is written down. As you get used to doing this, you'll be tempted to skip the list. You know what to do, right? Well, actually, this is the point where it is the most risky. You've done it so many times you actually think you've done something when you haven't. Traveling as a couple, it's a good idea to be that second set of eyes for each other. Sometimes you'll line up under the pin the first try. Sometimes it takes more than once. Just be gentle with yourself if it takes a few times. ball and cup are not perfectly aligned, but the cup system brings the trailer into alignment. 
Connecting the trailer lights. Locking the ball. Connecting the breakaway cable and safety chains. Total elapsed time from backing up to hitched up under 10 minutes. Easy peasy. In researching this video, Paul found some very important information that we know we need to share with you if you are considering an Anderson hitch. I read online that the warranty on your Grand Design um, fifth wheel would be void if you use a the Anderson hitch. Um, I called Grand Design. They referred me to Lippert, who makes the frame, and Lippert in fact said that they do not recommend using the Anderson hitch. So I called Anderson and spoke with the customer service rep there and he said yes they're aware of that and that they have a five million dollar policy in place just in case something happens that affects the frame on your on your fifth wheel. Actually it makes total sense. Lippert does not want any modifications around the kingpin because they don't make the adapter. Yeah that adapter is made by Anderson and like we said Anderson does have a policy in place and we will provide the link below uh, that you can you can research this information for yourself but they have a policy that will cover you if something does go wrong. And just so that you know, even though that we've learned all this information, we are still keeping our hitch because we still love it. Yep. We're going to use the, the hitch that you're seeing in this video. And remember to join the A-Team. Just push on the subscribe button. And we'll see you in the next video.